Safety first for Volvo, right? <laughs> of course, always use the safety belt. That's the How basic. are you, Lars? I'm fine. Nice Lars Goldstrom, uh, and you are like the father of this uh, vehicle, right? As yes, we heard this I'm, morning. <laughs> I'm the product manager for this car, yes. So, completely new XC90 2016. And uh, I mean, we can tell everything is like so new and fabulous in this car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, why do you take more more pride in it? I mean, I guess it's a difficult question because there are so many new and I mean, fabulous things. Everything it, right? is new, but I mean, as we have uh, concentrated on on uh, putting a lot of efforts of, of uh, on the design and the quality and the craftsmanship and the materials. And as we see here, we are sitting in in, in an environment that is yeah. very nice, yeah, very exactly. unique. So we're gonna go and uh, drive a little bit. Oh, we don't have the key. Oh, yeah. So, very unique thing, starting from this, I mean, yes. the way you start the car, I was pushing it and it was actually yeah. a turn, which is like uh, um, a very nice touch because you, you like have like control yeah. of it. Yeah, it's different. And um, so let's let's start with the exterior design, I guess it's the new philosophy for design for Volvo, right? Yes, yes it is. It's uh, come with our new uh, design boss, Thomas Engelert who is the new in the company and this is his first model out and it's totally new design from Volvo. So in that sense I understand he came from uh, Bentley and from uh, uh, other companies. How does that impact uh, a company that I guess is like a new a new uh, perspective and which is can be really really good right? Yeah I mean we are, we are coming out of starting from a fresh paper with the new ownership and everything and by that we, we could have made a car that is done for Volvo, used uh, with the Volvo components and we don't have to share everything with anyone else yeah. because we can do it the way we need to do the car for the customer of the future. Yeah. So starting from the from the front, the grill, I mean it has like really, uh, really great uh, visual impact. Yeah, we, we have a totally new grill and the new, new, new iron mark, that is the, the mark that is re redefined a bit and it's more more sculptured and we have put the Volvo on black and we have uh, aligned the arrow with the slash that we have in the grill to make it more harmonious and then we have great big bars and, and in the grills to make it uh, very open and that's combined with the new headlights that is the full LED headlights that is from uh, the modern technique with full automatic function and uh, with the LED uh, design light as Taurus hammers, Scandinavian yeah. tails. So, and if we keep moving forward, like to the cabin, I mean, we have uh, the, the engine compartment. Very, very interesting story with uh, the engine, like the new powertrain. Uh, for for this car, yes. you have the gasoline engine, uh, and then you have the like, plug-in hybrid version, right? Yeah. We start with a T6 here, here in the US and it's an uh, all-wheel drive and it's an, uh, our new uh, drive-e powertrain. It's a four-cylinder engine that is supercharged and turbocharged. And that engine we also use in our T8, our top-of-line model, that we have electrified the rear axle. So we have a two, one motor in the front and uh, one engine in the front and one motor in the rear. So by that we can have a combined uh, power output of 400 horsepower. Yeah, that's amazing. We drove that one yesterday and really the, the driving experience is really different and like you really feel how how much more power it, it is in the vehicle. Yeah, I mean you have the, the additional torque on the rear uh, motor and you have the, 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 the torque 295 horsepower on the front and uh, together with the rear motor and the, and the front engine we have a 472 foot-pounds of torque. But that's huge and we have to do 0 to 62 in 5.6 seconds yeah and that's the first uh, plug-in hybrid with seven seats yes which is another first for the whole yeah. industry right yeah and we have done the the package so that we have packaged all the battery in the tunnel console because we don't have any prop shaft because we have an electrical motor driving driving the rear wheels so we'll have the battery in the middle and that's good for the weight balance and for the agility of the and driving dynamics of the car and also for the interior space I mean you don't take anything no. in here I mean you don't see any difference between the two models no you don't see anything and you have a full seven seater and uh, all, all the things is here then we go into the cabin and then we have like this new beautiful display that I love I think it's the only second vertical screen that I see in the whole industry and it really is a, a, a big change yeah this is a really big change we looked into how should the future be when it comes to interaction of one customer and we have started a design interaction design office in, in Copenhagen in Denmark where we have 
done an extensive research among customer driving cars, how they behave, how they interact with the car, and found that having a touchscreen centrally in the car, that is the best and most efficient way. And I mean, you don't have to interact with the screen. You can use it by the uh, bottoms of the steering wheel, and you can also use voice to control it. So when, when you swipe, you say like, for example, when, when you swipe down, there you, here you are on the left side, you have all the buttons. The buttons you just press, and then press again, it's on off. You have a lit showing that. And you can swipe up and then you have more buttons. You can take the button and move it around, put it where you would like to have it. Oh, you, it's programmable completely. Yeah. Wow. So it's as a, as a normal, normal smartphone or a tablet. And then you yeah. swipe away and then you come to the navigation. Here is the main screen, navigation on top, media second and phone third. The parts that's below is where you touch. The parts that's high is where you look and view. Okay. So here, for instance, you need the climate. You yeah. get the climate bar. And you would like to change the, the uh, climate settings. Oops. And this is uh, very easy. And, and on, on the other swipe, you have the, the, the different uh, applications. Here, for instance, we can test the sound settings. Here we see the sound setting. And here, we, when we play, then we have the, the uh, concert hall and then we have the stage for the concert hall and, wow. and then you can change around here and you can have for different, different, different settings wow. Wow. so it's, it's, it's yeah. intuitive you don't have to interfere that much with it and you have the seatings controls and when you're lost you press the home button and yeah, it goes and back. You go back there. And the rest of the console is very clean. I mean, very few buttons. I mean, like you, you, you don't have almost anything there like this. Yeah, we only it. have eight buttons left, and then we have the normal the volume knob and uh, and the play pause functions and and the next and the repeat functions and heated windows and so on. Only the the basic things, and because you don't utilize that many functions, and the functions you can access is a swipe away. So. All the buttons are uh, at, to the left of the screen you see all the time. So when yeah. you swipe, you can go to the left part and then you have all the buttons there. And then the other, like the design, I mean, it's like beautiful woods, um, uh, aluminum, uh, yeah. leather, everything like very, so Scandinavian. I mean, that's completely yeah. to the bubble point, right? There really is, yeah. And then we have a, a very du nice uh, sound system in the core as well, that is very well crafted here around the core. What's that? What's that? The, the sound system that is made from uh, Bowers and Wilkins, a, a great speaker manufacturer from UK, United Kingdom. So they, have, we have created a, a sound system that also have the influence with the. Uh, uh, we have done the sound settings with the concert hall in Gothenburg, so we can recreate that sound uh, in the car. And we have the opportunity to set it in studio modes and in video modes. And we have an advanced equalizer and uh, all the different settings you need normally have so it's very very easy and, and intuitive and it's great great sound and then the other core value of Volvo is safety and the safety technology in this car is pretty impressive yeah we have standard with the city safety functions that we've had now for some years it's improved now but we have the radar standard in the car as well the radar and the camera is behind the front windscreen so it's always clean by the yeah. wiper so you never get any blocked radar so you have the full function for yeah, every second counts right yeah and you have full functionality and you have all the convenient functions that follows also above the safety features and um the um, interior also has this huge uh, sunroof that uh I mean, I don't know the structure wise. I mean, how are you guys able to like maintain the the, the solid solidity of that? Of the I mean, the structure in the car is, uh, we have improved the amount of boron steel. That is a very hard, high strength steel from 7% to 33% of the body structure. And by that, we can go down in, in weight, but have a much stronger uh, cage. And the, the panoramic sunroof is, is fully laminated. So it's part of the, the construction. So it keeps it strong. Yeah. Uh, going back to the safety features, I got, got, got so impressed by the technology actually in the seats. I mean, yeah. the seats are designed not only to make you feel comfortable, but like there's also safety technology. In yeah, it. well, we have done a completely new seat generation 
and by that we could think of all things to, to uh, reduce the, the uh, injuries and, and uh, the forces on, on at accidents. So we have put in a, a function that re reduced the pressure on the spine if you are in an accident when you run off road and uh, have a hard landing then uh, the uh, new seats reduce the, the forces on the spine with over, over 30%. And that can be the difference from this be disabled through your life or be able to walk again. Uh, very, very important. Uh, so, Volvo just announced this week that uh, you're building a plant here in the US. Yes. Uh, but production won't start till 2018. These cars, where, where are they, they coming from Sweden still? These now? cars, uh, this X90 will be produced in Torslanda, Sweden, yes. So we have built a new factory there and uh, employed uh, new people and uh, started a third shift for building these cars. Wow, yeah. that's really busy. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's a very good progress at Volvo now and, uh, and we have a lot of new products coming. Yeah, that's what I, my, my final question. We heard that this is 2016 model. But by 2018, it's going to be the oldest model in your life now. That's pretty yes, impressive. Yes, we are working on now and rolling out new models coming every year. And this will be the oldest, oldest in 2018, yes. Well, well, thank you very much for the opportunity to drive this car here in California. Rainy California for a change. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so we've been able to experience all of the safety features and the performance of the car. So thank you very much for your time. I want to keep thank enjoying uh, our drive in California. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you.